quickly, I wanted to start with start off with the, the writing process, um, um, and, and more maybe just before that. Why a new album right now? Like it'd been a few years. You had released a few uh, a few uh, singles, kind of some some covers the last couple of years. Uh, why? How did you reconnect? I know you're very busy with other projects. When is the right time for Crosses to reemerge? Like wh why now? And what happened exactly? Yeah, I don't think it was anything that that was really thought out um, or really planned out. You know, we just um, we started. Uh, I think Sean actually came up to Oregon where I live uh, one time just for vacation with his wife. They came yeah. and, and stayed at our house. And, um, and one, one of the, you know, one of the days we went down into my studio and just started like, you know, messing, same things here, just keyboards and stuff everywhere. We started just messing with some stuff and, and I want to say we came up with a couple of ideas. I don't know which one specifically we did, yeah. but just sort of just like, you know, for fun, hanging out, you know, that's what we do. We, we're both musicians. We both love and, you know, enjoy listening and creating music. So um, when we're hanging out, it's kind of the same thing. You know what I mean? It's what we do anyways. Um, uh, whether it's for, you know, this project or whatever, we're usually listening to something, talking about music or doing something musical. So, uh, so yeah, it was natural for us to kind of go down there and do, and do whatever. And uh, at the time, Crosses has sort of just been on the back burner for a while. And without doing too much talking about it, it's something that kind of organically just started happening. We started, we made a couple ideas and, um, you know, didn't really make a, a full sort of like idea. Well, maybe we should uh, sort of re, re, uh, revisit this or, or not. It was kind of just like, you know, when we were together, we started kind of adding more and more ideas to a folder. I think we made a folder of just like idea folder and started throwing stuff in there and, you know, Usually once I, I would put a vocal idea over it, it would kind of become a song. And um, and I want to say we had a, uh, maybe a handful or more of, of those ideas. And um, and it was, I think, during the pandemic. And um, uh, and uh, Sean had sent me the, a demo for the, uh, the cover that we did, which was the first thing that we released back in 2020, I think it was. And uh, was it 2020 or 2019? 2020. 2020. And... Uh, yeah, it was a, a cover of a, a, a band from Sacramento where we're both from uh, this electronic band called Cause and Effect. And we had one of the sessions we, when we were working, we were listening to it, just amazed with like this, this cool uh, project that we didn't really know much about that were from our same town that, that we came from. And uh, he sent me a demo of like, uh, I didn't even know what it was at first. I was like, what is this? And then he, he explained what it was. And I was like, oh, cool. So I went home, uh, recorded the, my vocal and uh, and sent it back to him and did we just have this idea of what do we, what, we just don't tell anybody where that, you know, that the project is sort of awakening. And we just kind of, we tell people by just putting a song out uh, unannounced, you know, Christmas Eve. And that's what we did with that song. And that was sort of the catalyst for, you know, for us to kind of just kind of keep working slowly, but surely, you know, without, like I said, having this big plan of what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, next thing you know, we, we were sitting on a lot of material and then it was a decision of how to put it out and, and um and not wanting to just put out a full record whatever we just started sort of leaking out singles doing it ourselves um you know all sort of just him and i you know um and then yeah we uh uh eventually we sort of you know had the uh you know started to get the more logistics together got a label together uh you know uh with warner brothers and um and then started to make sort of a bigger plan of, of you know how to do it we're still actually you know getting that plan together, you know, of, of how we're going to release it. But as of the, you know, now we just have this EP come out last week and um, yeah, we're, we're excited to kind of see where it goes. Well, well, congratulations. I, I mean, it's, it's uh, making music in this new era and if we're all, you know, after pandemic, it seems like that project was kind of halfway through. Um, it, it's a big effort and, and you're now a two piece. Um, and so I was, you know, obviously, you mentioned a few times, like sending ideas back and forth, but did it change the way you, you were writing? I know there were some uncertainties at how it was going to move forward without Chuck and how you're going to write, you know, kind of a different process. Is it because also the fact that you're, you mentioned you're in, in, in Oregon right now, um, uh, Chino and, and Sean, you being in, uh, in California, do you, do you, do you write music in a different manner now? Like kind of, as you mentioned, some sending some, some bits and pieces, some riffs that you might have, Sean, or, or vice versa, and kind of bouncing off each other <laughs> ideas. Like, 
in, in a way, in a remote way, kind of like now being the sign of the time a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's completely different um, how we write now, you know, as opposed to, you know, when we were three piece, um, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of sending, you know, Dropbox ideas, you know, uh, and, and just back and forth. And, you know, before that it was, it was completely different, you know, more organic in a sense that it's kind of more being in the, in the same room and kind of like the old fashioned well, way that, of but, having yeah, but, but that still happens too now. Um, yeah. You know, I think that was, that was initially, that's kind of how it, it started, right. uh, you know, uh, sending stuff back and forth. And yet that still happens sometimes. Um, but the majority of stuff now is, is that, that we've been working on has been, you know, now, now, now I come here specifically to, to hang yeah. out and just be in this room and, You know, uh, you, a lot of times it starts with like, uh, well, what do we have to work on? We'll pull up an idea that we have to work on. And while we're doing that, I'll go back here and I'll start noodling around yeah. and he'll start whatever. And then next thing you know, we start yeah. another idea. And, we, yeah. and, you know, and, and those are a lot of times my favorite things because that is a very organic, you know, uh, yeah. experience. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more of like a jam, a jam that way. I, I think that I think things get things kind of happen faster when we're in the same room. You know, I think the, the Dropbox, you know, sending ideas back and forth is is sort of good for like initial ideas. I think it's like, oh, this is cool. But I think as far as finishing, finishing stuff is like more it's better in, in, when we're all you know, when we're in the same room. Yeah, the 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 the, uh, the 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 Dropbox stuff is usually like just the, the seed, I would say, you know, yeah. what I mean, for for a song idea. And, and then it's like, this is pretty cool. I'll, I'll maybe throw like a little rough vocal idea on it and then it won't get touched usually anything more than that yeah. until I get here. And then it's like, put that idea up and then we'll just start building it from that point together. Yeah. It, it seems like it's very sign again, like very contemporary contemporary. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which is the, like hybrid version of everything now. Like it seems like there's a bit that's going to stay the whole, like what we're doing, like the, the zoom, but then people start to enjoy being together again and being in that, you know, that band kind of thing, the togetherness is kind of even kind of more precious right now. So it makes sense that it's kind of a hybrid thing. Yeah. Um, it, it, do, The fact that it's just the two of you does it give you kind of the feeling that it's it's a it's a smaller project that some of the things that you do there is like it's kind of in a way maybe less as expected because you came back and it, the fact that it's just the two of you is it kind of an easier ship to steer in a way kind of a, a you can put it in direction you want it's kind of a less less uh, stuff around the project that gives you the credit to focus solely on creating the art do you feel that way about like having a smaller unit in a way? Yeah, I, I do. I mean, I, I feel like, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like now just being the two of us, I, I I tend to think that we don't, you know, as far as the music stuff, I feel like we don't really disagree much, you know, um, which is cool. Something I don't take for granted, you know, because I've, I've been in situations where you You just don't agree with people and you, you know, you, you somebody's got to give in, you know, or whatever. And, and um, but no, I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a lot easier. I think like less compromises in a way being in a band is also a question of compromising things and finding middle ground. And this is kind of, well, it's just the two of you. So in a way, yeah, it's like, a, it's, you know, it's like a relationship, a marriage, whatever, you know? Yeah. For me, I mean, I've, I've never, I mean, I've only been in, you know, a band, you know, for most of my life with five, you know, four other people. So, you know, um, and although not everybody writes, everybody's in the room at one time, a lot, a lot of the time. And then there's like, just the noise factor alone of like, you know, you're trying to think of something and someone's over here, like, you know, hitting a drum or doing some things. Sometimes it's like, ah, you know what I mean? It's, not, it's, it's kind of chaos, chaos at, at points. Uh, sometimes it's good that that's a good thing, but, uh, but with, with just, I mean, it, it, it is hyper-focused here, you know what I mean? Which is two, two minds. Um, and, and, uh, and, you know, it's just like back and forth, boom, he does something. And I'm like, that's awesome. Check this out. That's awesome. Let's check this out. And it's just like, we just build that's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a concise way to build, you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, it's like, if I, if I send him an idea or something and he doesn't respond to it, Or if he responds to it and he's like, I don't like it. I'm, 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 I'm okay with that. I don't, I don't, I don't get my feelings about that. because I'm like, Oh, well, 
that idea is not for this, but maybe it's for something else. You know, it's like, I think that's, that's what makes it easy. If I send him something, he's like, Oh, I want to sing on this. Then cool. You know, I think that makes it really easy. Um, and, and yeah, I, I don't, I, again, I don't, I don't, I don't let it affect anything. I'm, I'm not going to be like, no, you need to like this. You need to sing on this. Like that, that doesn't make any sense. So less, less ego kind of involved, especially, I guess, when there's a bigger, a bigger echo in a band, like people kind of, it's, it's a, again, you mentioned lighter and easier and kind of more organic. You can go and kind of less of the hassle that you can sometimes have in a bigger band. Um, yep. Something I wanted to touch on is uh, is uh, the, um, the all the videos, and it's more like direct. I think Sean, you, you've been behind like the concept and co-directing a lot of the videos that came together. It feels like this this EP is like really that that concept of the video series is really very tied in with the the mood and um, the influence. So I wanted to to ask you. I, I really and maybe uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I really felt a lot of David Lynch influence on the videos. It's really kind of what like that chord that kind of uh, yeah, was it behind I, was it be behind the, the the concept did you have like a, a mindset going into it can you can you uh, explain uh, a little bit yeah, about I, that I video i mean, I, would, i i definitely didn't go into it saying like oh i want this to look like david lynch but like i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm a fan i i do like i do like uh videos that almost uh, like i love videos where you could take a still from several frames of the video and 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 it and put a frame around it and put it on your wall and it looks like art i mean i've always been a fan of that um i think but again like you know i think that I, in a way that like the, the the lynch thing sort of i i think the influence maybe there is that that uh i don't want the videos to fully make sense you know and i think a lot of his stuff is just like wait what, what just happened like what that doesn't make any sent you know and i think that that was like kind of going into it. i wanted to just be almost like people could make their own version of it you know like what 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 it means to them you know yeah i think i think i think that's how i sort of it's it's sort of like a parallel to the way that i write lyrics you know what i mean yeah. and writing okay. and, and writing a a narrative or or you know creating a narrative to go along with with the with the vocals you know without you know what i mean without trying to make You know, the vocals or the lyrics, sorry, that aren't all that literal. I mean, why would you make a super literal, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, some, so I feel like it's, it's kind of neat to, to complement each other like that. Exactly yeah. what I felt. Like it's, it's really matches the style, like both, like the visuals and the, the moody. So it's kind of very dark. It's very intriguing. It's uh, the character of that, that main actress that comes back. And the fact that they're all tied together, I think really adds for me to the value. And it, it takes another dimension. If you watch it, it's kind of an experience. And I think it really matches nicely. And I think the concept like this of releasing all that must have been a great amount of work to produce. And it's like, a, a, a you know, and it feels like you were very involved in the process. But again, like, the whole thing matches exactly and I, and i really like the dark moodiness um i think that um i mean to me uh for me the visuals in the in the videos is is for me i, I know it's not for everyone but like if for me it's it's equally as important because i think i i you know i've just seen you know you fall in love with a song or something and then you see the video and you're just like oh what What, 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 what was behind that? Who thought that was a good idea? You know? And I think that like, I, I just, I've always cared a lot about that stuff, you know? And, and, you know, I, I also appreciate, you know, the Chino kind of get, you know, trusts, you know, the vision. Um, and, and it's, I mean, it's, it, it feels good to, to see that people, you know, are, are recognizing that, you know? Um, because it's, it is something I'm proud of, like with the music, you know? Well, congratulations again. I think it's your whole package that comes here and it's, uh, ties nice, ties nicely with the rest of the project. And it's, uh, uh, a one, like the, the songs are, and I will come to it. Maybe they're all tied in, in the same kind of like, it, it feels like a continuum. You can watch them all like as a, again, very, for me, David Lynchy kind of influence. And it's funny because the lights in your studio kind of continue in the same mood. So that's why I changed my background as well. I felt like we were <laughs> going to be in that. <laughs> there's a raccoon somewhere yeah. that's eating something that was in the back alley in toronto i was wondering um, what that was that's awesome yeah uh, i was like oh the raccoons are coming after me uh but the lighting was bang on i'm glad we're kind of matching um yeah. 
So just to come back on that, it's so again, like all the songs uh, on the EP kind of match nicely together as a tight unit and feels like they're we're kind of in familiar territory with what you the, the vocabulary you had started to develop, a few, you know, 10, 10 years ago almost. And it kind of matches nicely. And it's funny because change of personnel and everything. But of course, there's one song that sticks out a little bit out of there and that there's uh, that uh, you see me coming with this one because I think you've had a lot of questions about it. But uh, day one seems to be the, a standout kind of song that sticks out a little bit and i want to ask you it feels like it's a very first time or kind of one of the first time that it's a dancey kind of caribbean latino vibe clearly that kind of emerges and so my question was to ask you uh where does it come from you both have mexican roots is it something that you realize going in that that was kind of appeal to a different kind of side of your kind of tastes or memories uh, how did this song come about uh it probably almost didn't come about because uh, I, I, I probably, I, I must have been in a strange mood when I sent him that idea because I, I, I think if I would have really thought about it, I probably would have thought he's not gonna like this, you know, like or, you know. And then I sent him that, uh, you know, probably along with like, a, a, and it wasn't the full track. It was mainly just the guitar and that little synth, the, you know, the little lead synth line, like basically the intro of the song. And, uh, you know, I probably sent him that with like a few other ideas. And then um, he sent me a vocal back, just like a rough, you know, melody and everything, which is now pretty much what what's in the song. Uh, and I, yeah, I was I was kind of caught off guard. I was like, well, I can't believe he like he he, he messes with that, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's well, what's weird like, is like when, when he sent me, I, did, I didn't look at it like like. Oh, this is weird, or, or this this doesn't sound like crosses, or this like whatever. Now, like it's funny when I read everybody's opinion, like about it, just like how it's like so weird. Didn't seem weird to me, like when I first heard it, when I when we did the demo, even when we finished the song, I didn't. I mean, I knew it was a little bit more upbeat, up tempo, whatever. Um, but it didn't fill out a character, you know. It still doesn't, um, whatever. I, I I know I know that um, crosses is sort of known as this more moody, you know uh thing whatever but i feel just like i feel like the songs i mean you know i don't have like one character that i go into when i make crosses music you know what i mean just like i don't do that with any project that i do i sort of just like hear what's presented in front of me and i react to it you know what i mean and um and uh literally he sent me that idea and i just reacted to it and i thought this sounds pretty good i sent it back to him you know what i mean uh not thinking in context of whatever i mean it may if anything I, I i put it in context with all the music that we have which you know i don't know if you can't see this board back here but we got you know 30 plus you know songs here so i just look at it like you know it's just another something to add to 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 the, you know to this palette of of like you know a lot of different stuff i think it's always going to be crosses it's his production it's my voice it's whatever but yeah the idea of like we're going to make a song that has this you know this sort of uh you know exotic vibe to it it wasn't it it wasn't that uh that thought out you know what I mean? that the, uh, that's exactly the question but uh, also it there's a sense of of positivity i mean it, like you mentioned your li the lyrics are sometimes you know not right. obvious mm -hmm. and but this one has a more obvious new beginnings kind of feeling and i don't know i don't i don't want to necessarily fall into the whole pandemic thing because we're down like and done with this but yeah. it, it feels like kind of a something different turning a page oh, in a it, way. Was, it was totally organic in that way i mean i mean you know you wouldn't be far off like you know saying that that's what it was it, it was when I was here recording those vocals and we were writing, I was writing the lyrics and on that dry, dry erase board over there, I was kind of just like scribbling out some, some lyric ideas. It was definitely in the pandemic. We were the only two people in here. Mm -hmm. you couldn't, everything was closed out here. We're in, we're in LA right now yeah. uh, around the neighborhood. There was no restaurants open, nothing, whatever. And, and it was sort of like kind of a, a gloomy sort of, you know, vibe and and you're hearing some sort of like you know uh shoulder shaking you know rhythms and and i just was like it was obvious to me to start being optimistic thinking about a day when i'm going to be able to hug all my friends again you know what i mean and that's what that was where that was what was in my mind and that's kind of what came up without you know without trying to be too like uh you know um descriptive of it it was kind of the vibe and kind of just went with it you know what i mean uh, without thinking, you know, too deep into it. 
But I think it's great. I mean, it's, had, it's got a, a good hook and it's right in the middle of the EP and kind of creates a little lift, you know, that kind of creates a contrast with the other songs. So it kind of, I like the, the the fact that you've positioned it this way and I, I think it's a good addition and you're opening new territories. It's, a, it's a, again, and, and the fact that there's just the two of you yeah. allows you to do pretty much whatever yeah. you two feel like. I, I would say this, even if people did like right out of the gate, love it, I don't think we're going to, we'd make, another song like that just to make another song like that. You know what I mean? I just think it was something that just happened. You know what I mean? So it's not like a, Oh, well now we're going to go into this world, you know, because people like it or, or we're going to go this way. It's like, it's just one, you know, little molecule of like all the stuff that we, whatever, you know what I mean? But that's the sense we get, the sense I get uh, through the covers that you go and dig wherever you want, you appear whenever you want, you do the choices that you want. It's a, again, I come back to the idea that I had, like I asked you earlier, is like an easier lighter ship to, to steer. You can go whatever direction you want. And it's kind of what makes it fun, I guess, for you to also to get into that, that project is just like full control and full freedom, which is, which is great. Um, you, as I mentioned earlier, we met like 22, 23 years ago. I, I don't want to be counting, but you've been in the biz- music business for, for, for a while now. And you've, I think, known the, the 90s, which was a very, you know, the old fashioned era and everything. You've known the Napster Plus and now like the era of streaming. W- what's your perspective now on, on, on the music business, the way it is now? We're in the 2020s. Um, it, it, does it all that streaming uh, kind of how do you see the 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 industry and you and your and your job in a way your day job and how does it affect you and and uh coming from again having that perspective it's kind of a broader question but it's uh it's something that really i'm, I'm wondering kind of like my son is obsessed with the number of streams on, on spotify he's 11 and it's just like it's we're in a weird era kind of how does it feel and and maybe how um does it add a value to meeting the the fans alive and that's probably the next question yeah i mean it's definitely different you know, from when we, we both came up in bands, um, you know, in the, in the, the mid nineties, um, you know, so, so yeah, I mean, everything, you know, I don't want to say what's a great word, not disposable, but everything is so like, uh, turns over so quick. So like people's yeah. attention spans are like, you know, yeah, you know, is so, so like, yeah, I mean, like, I, I feel like, For, for the way that we at least we we're approaching stuff now is just like to sort of like just not put all our eggs in one basket and just like here's here's what we are and just put it all out as a thing and then just like watch it sort of just like you know sort of sail on and then there's something new the next day i mean i i i, I see it with with music in general where it's like music comes out and like the next friday like you know i mean I, I mean, I just, it's weird. Like I, I was even thinking this morning, I was listening to this, this interview, whatever, this podcast thing, whatever, but like a record, like, um, I don't know, think about it's like, like nevermind or something by, by, by Nirvana. I mean, I understand that's like, a, that's like a, a generation album. I mean, whatever, but like, I can't imagine an album coming out like that the, today. You know what I mean? Because I would even say, I would, I would, if, if that record specifically even came out today, would people be listening to it for, you know what I mean? Whatever, because I feel like just minds were different back then. And people just like, I don't know, as great as that record is, I mean, would it, would it also be like, sort of just like, you know what I mean? People's attention span to be the seeming the way they are today. Would it be appreciated that way? I don't know. You know? Yeah. Um, So our, our, our kind of thing is to, it's just to like, kind of just, you know, to, to obviously we built a great collection of music, but just, put it out as we want to put it out and not just like, you know, like feel like forced, like we got to put something out just so it can kind of like, you know, get, go up to the wayside, you know, just because people's attention span, you know what I mean? And as far as touring, I mean, like, I think that's, what's going to keep us, you know, as, as well, keep us sort of just like out there in, and, you know, uh, and people's visual, you know what I mean? And, and just being out there and playing, playing these songs and, and, uh, and having fun at the same time, you know what I mean? That's going to keep us wanting to do it. You know? So this is the plan for 2023, getting back on the road at some point uh, with a North American or what kind of a tour are you envisioning? I don't know yet. I mean, yeah. we're, we're, we're just now just like starting to talk about it. So, yeah. You know. But I think the idea is yes, for yeah. sure to, to be out, you know, late spring in the summer, uh, the, this, this, uh, this summer, uh, you know, playing some shows and, and what those, you know, what, what there will be, how, how the band is. I mean, we haven't started even 
putting together, you know, that sort of thing. We have different, some different ideas, whether, you know, it's maybe just a two piece, maybe it's a full ensemble, maybe yes. it's both, you know I mean? For different situations. But I think the, the awesome part about it is that like, we kind of can do whatever we want, you know what I mean? Without like, we don't, you know, the way that the music was made and the way that everything, it's like, it's possible to, to have, you know, variations of that. So. Oh, that's excellent. I think I, I don't know if I have time for a, a tiny last question. Very small one. Um, okay, last one. <laughs> um, Vivian, love it, but you caught me off guard and I think I'm not the only one that there was a nugget hidden in the chorus. Last night, I found you where, where I was dry, but you pulled me in. Um, Were you aware of it? Or was it kind of a an inside joke that you realize afterwards, the Britney kind of, uh, kind of a little bit, was it something unintentional that you got told after or it, it, do you it, uh, assume I'll, it? I'll just say it was definitely a little wink. You know what I mean? For, for sure. I, I think, uh, you know, it's, it was a, funny. To, it was funny to see people feel like they cracked a code or something like yeah. that. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, it's all in good, in good spirit. Well, I caught it like literally funny story to finish it, like personal touch. I was having a shower and I was singing and I'm like, what the, what is this? And I felt like that. So it worked. It worked. It totally worked. The wink was received worldwide at some point. I think it would be fun to have a camera on all the people when they finally got the little wink. It was, mm. it was a good addition, kind of perfect. And it's kind of, you know, very subtle. So it's great. So, uh, congratulations, uh, right. for the little wink and for the, uh, for the EP and the, and all the videos and, Hopefully I see you and catch you live um, uh, on the West Coast, not far from Oregon. Cool, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's a very good interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.